right guys so i promised y'all an update on my drip irrigation fertilizer injector here my winter time in the shed project that i showed him a while back so here we are to do our update well, good morning guys welcome back to four boys little homestead slash Bubbles, play. as always if this is your first time here thanks for dropping in feel free to drop in anytime you feel my friend guys the short answer to this update is it don't work worth the crap on drip irrigation now my little garden there is seven rows with drip irrigation and i got it the drip irrigation tape the emitters is one foot apart seven rows approximately 35 foot long now this does not work it's not letting out enough water in them drip irrigation tape to make this thing suck up fertilize no matter how I adjust it but the good thing is when I built this I had two things in mind I wanted it to try to sit right here to feed my liquid fertilize or either my liquid rabbit manure through my drip irrigation tape that was one of my deals well that's not working the other one is, I wanted it to where I could hook an extra water hose on here and just take my watering wine around to all of my beds that don't have drip irrigation in them and I could put in liquid fertilizer or either my liquid rabbit manure tea and spray them beds. So the good thing is Spraying through this one, this is a drowned one. It sucks the fertilizer out of there. I use some 20, 20, 20, so I can see it's blue color, just experimenting here, playing today. And this works good. Now, one thing you will have to do, and it's gonna determine your water pressure, it's gonna determine the length of your water hose, the, your wine, how fast it sucks out of here. You gotta figure out how steep out you want to mix your liquid fertilizer or whatever you trying to run through here so i'm not gonna get into that that's something you just have to do your nerdy mouth on and figure out yourself i kind of got an idea here on how i done mine and what i'm how much far as the rabbit manure to it don't matter but far as the liquid if i use 20 20 20 liquid fertilizer sometimes I'm putting about a cup of fertilizer in this five gallons of water and I can go around and I ain't talking about deep water irrigating my beds. I'm just talking about giving them a good little once a week spoon feeding, I call it. So it works great with the wine, but it does not work guys on drip irrigation. Now, if you've got a bigger garden with a lot more drip tape and a lot more emitters to where it's putting out more water, this little setup might work. But this one's not putting out enough water to make it suck and come up and go out. Now, the way I got mine set up here, I got my three valves. So anytime I want to use my hose here just to water my raised beds out here with my wand, I can turn these two valves off and I'm just getting straight water. If I want to use any rabbit manure tea or any liquid fertilizer, I turn this valve off and open these two valves. Actually, I open this one on this side. That's the outlet all the way and the inlet about halfway and it works good. So I won't be using this on my drip irrigation. I done played with it for three or four hours today. I've tried everything I know to do, changing the water pressure, but it just ain't enough emitters out there letting enough water out for this to work. So, like I said, unless you've got a lot bigger garden with a lot longer rows with a lot more emitters putting out water, then this may work other than that. 
I would say buy the little jug thing that cost over a hundred dollars. Well, I think you can get a three quarter gallon for a hundred, hundred and twenty five dollars. But I just didn't want to go that route because I was trying to do two different things here. So what I got planned on doing, even though my garden out there has got ground fabric on it, it's going to be a hole cutting that fabric at each plant. When I want to give them some rabbit manure tea or if I decide I want to use some liquid fertilizer, I just take my wand and go by each plant down each row. And that's how I end up having to fertilize it now. I don't know nothing else. Like I said, I tried everything I know to try. I took this off. I seen some guys say this won't work standing up. It's got to be laying down. So I, I thought, well, I'll lay it on the ground. That way it won't have to suck as hard pulling straight up out of the bucket. But still, my little garden ain't got enough emitters to do that, no matter how I adjust the valves. So if you're thinking about building one of these, you may want to do a lot more research, see a lot more people, see a lot more people's videos on how big their gardens are. If they say it's work, talk to them, message them, ask them how many emitters they got, how much is their water output, so you'll know if it's gonna work on your garden or not. I just took a chance. It didn't cost me much to build this. Like I said, I had most of the PVC stuff. But I'm still gonna get a lot of use out of it, just watering. I got I got more beds out here, raised beds, to water and fertilize using this wine anyway than I do my garden. So I'm, I'm still proud I built it. But I just wanted to give y'all a quick little update on it that I've been out here all afternoon playing with it. It finally got the temperatures up here. I ain't worrying about getting another freeze and freezing any of my irrigation. Plus, I need to go on and get it hooked up and checked. I had three or four leaks I needed to fix and repair. And I just wanted to go on and test this out. And as I promised y'all, I told y'all I would give y'all an update on it when it come time to use it. Now, later on in some of my videos, you will actually see me using this with this wand, and I'll show y'all then me using it. So as far as using it, there's nothing to it. I just put me about a cup of, well, today, experimenting, I use a cup of 20-20-20 water-soluble fertilizer because it's blue, and I can see it when it comes up that tube. This is the outlet side. I got a water hose, a hundred foot water hose, and it's a water hose that'll only be used to fertilize because it's gonna have rabbit manure tea and fertilize to it. So therefore, I don't want this water hose where you'll come out here and go over and water your chickens with. That's why it's hooked up and it'll stay permanently hooked up right here. I got another water hose hooked on this side. That's the ones I use to whatever just water or water my chickens water my quills water my rabbits or whatever this hose here i only be used to water in the garden whether i'm using fertilizer or not like i said i can close these two valves just turn this valve on still use the same hose to water all my garden beds plus i use this hose to run out there to my outside garden which has drip irrigation on it where i can hook on to it and water under there. Again, I won't be able to use the fertilizer injector, but it's already set up. All I gotta do is screw that end of the hose on out there and it works. Or I have the hose where I put my wand on it to do everything else around here. So guys, if you built one of these and you got any tips or advice for me, if there's something you see that I done wrong, that you think it ought to be working on my garden since I have seven rows, approximately 35 foot long. The emitters is one foot apart. And I think that's a half inch emitter tape. So if you think this should be working and maybe something I'm doing wrong, 
by all means, please put it in the comments down there and let me know what I'm doing wrong. Or, if you've tried this before and you've got the same outcome I did, please leave it in the comments and let me know. That way I know that it ain't just something I done. A lot of this stuff I do, I do on trial and error. I see stuff, some people say something will work may work for them like i said if you had a big garden with a lot of emitters i see this will work could it be enough water going out that it would suck this it, it would have enough water going out to make it work but as small as my garden is it just won't work on this my two in-ground gardens with my drip tape but as always guys if you like these type little videos and you never subscribe please reach down there and hit that subscribe button it don't cost you a thing Give me a thumbs up. Share my videos on your social media. That's the best way you can help me grow my YouTube channel. And as always, I hope y'all have a great day and a blessed week. God bless. See y'all next time.